Sound speeds. And since 2017, Viviana has been producing, nonstop I might add, high quality products to help us hide lavalier microphones and transmitter packs on actors when they are going on camera for television and motion pictures. But before we get going, full disclosure, Viviana did send me all the products that you're going to see in this showcase video in exchange for the opportunity to showcase them to you and for showing people in real life classes I teach how to use their products, but they had no input in the creation of this video. Now, I also want to thank True Audio Atlanta for supplying me with the lavalier microphones and transmitter packs you're going to see in this video. Now, without further delay, let's look at the accessories they sent. Viviana straps are made in Italy. Now, their straps come in three different varieties, ankle, thigh, and waist, and the waist come in four different sizes, extra small, small, medium, and large. Now, you can get these straps in any one of three colors, black, brown or beige now they're all the same except for the size of them the ankles obviously are very are very short uh in in length because they are designed just to go around the ankle and the waist needs to be bigger to go all the way around someone's waist but the thigh is the oddball and i'm going to show you why because of the design of a thigh being bigger at the top and smaller at the bottom you need to have something to help hold it on the bigger surface to keep it from sliding down. Now hold on one second before we move on. The version of the strap that I'm about to show you is the extreme version. It has a grip all the way across the entire strap itself, and that's for every single version of the extreme. So it will hold in place regardless of whether it's an ankle, a thigh, a waist, a chest, or what have you. Now the regular straps don't have adhesive across except for the thigh. The thigh straps have two polyurethane strips going across it to help it hold in place but the extreme version has it across the entire strap. So that said, let's continue. And Viviana has thought of a great solution for that. If you were to open up one of the Viviana straps, I'm going to take the little strap over here to the side, the little, uh, the little piece right there that's going to hold it in place, what they call a pouch protector. And if you look at the opposite side of the strap itself, you're going to see that there's polyurethane on the inside. Now, there's also versions of the strap that come with two little strips on the inside, but this has little dots of, of polyurethane. It might be difficult to see, and so I might have to brighten this a bit in post, but it actually holds very well the entire way through. If I were to put this on my, on my skin, it's just bar barely touching the the strap but the whole strap is kinking up because it's grabbing my skin very well and if you have like a self-adhesive bandage or something like that it's going to hold just as effectively now it is stretchy which is cool so you can wrap it up very well on someone's leg on their thigh rather and it's going to hold very effectively and this velcro here has a point on it with a little bit of a lip so you can grab it and it's going to hold very, very well. Now, this pouch protector, if you are concerned when you stick your lavalier, uh, when you put your transmitter rather inside there, like if I were to take this transmitter and stretch this out and then stick this in, whoops, let's try this again. It's kind of hard for me to do this while I'm favoring camera. So if you were to stick this on the inside and you were con concerned at all with it falling out, which I can tell you right now, it's not going to. It is not going anywhere. But if you remember the old Neo packs, they would fall out very easily. So there's a lot of people that are kind of interested in the idea of using one of these straps, these pocket protectors, and routing it over on top. Now, if you notice this Velcro right here, it will not grab this side nearly as effectively as it will the other side. So what you don't want to do is that. What you would rather do instead is start it from the very, very top here and route it around to hold there if you want to use the pocket protector that way. Now that will hold in position just well. Now if you have a lavalier microphone and you happen to want to take this coil and once you plug it into the, the transmitter, you want to take the excess cable. You do have a little pouch here. You can loop it on your fingers and then jam it on the inside right here. So you, it will hold it for you very effectively. So you could stick that in the transmitter and then route this up to the actor and have all the slack you need to pulling out another loop here and there as needed. Now that is a really cool design. Now if you notice over here too, let me get back into it here. There are these little bitty tabs here. Now those come in different sizes. Now this is a thigh, so it is green in color. And as for the orange, well, I'll put up on the screen right now their color coding systems. That way you can see exactly what it is. Now, their products do come in different sizes and in different varieties, which is the reason why it, uh, 
is designed the way it is and with their color scheme. Now, here's another really cool feature about Viviana. If you want to have your own company label put across here, you could actually have this personalized. So if you're in a sh on a show with a bunch of other mixers and you wanna make sure that your straps are not being picked up by anybody else, you can have Viviana actually put your company name across your straps. So that is one really cool option. You have your company uh, logo, basically, your company printed across that. Now, this is um, another really cool feature about this also is that the label here that says Viviana makes it very easy to roll because it's a little bit extra thick right there because of their Viviana logo. If you were to roll it up, you can just basically pick that exact size and dimension of that and then just start rolling from there. So it rolls up very effectively and it gives you something to gauge your size with. So that way it's gonna be the same every single time. Now, if you notice this comes to a point, so that way it makes it easy for you to find. And because it doesn't have Velcro that goes all the way to the very edge, you could basically grab anywhere along this and you're gonna pick it up just fine. Now this Velcro holds extremely well. So you're not gonna have a problem with it coming off. That is though the Viviana strap. Now, if you notice on the strap, when you put the transmitter on the inside, if you wanna put your cable on either side over here or over here, you do have a pouch for your cable on either side for you to choose from. Now let's talk about the Viviana dots. Now these are hypoallergenic with adhesive on both sides. They're double-sided with their adhesive and they're designed for mounting on clothes, but it's also delicate enough for you to put on skin without it tearing your skin. Now you can put them on the back of something like an Ursa mount, a Bubble Bee concealer, something like that. And they're gonna hold very, very well. Now. You can use them with pretty much anything. I mean, there, there's a different design for pretty much everything. So like, for example, this one is the one for the Ursa mini mount. And one of the really cool designs about this is that if you, if you take this off, it comes off very easily. Now, I'm gonna have to stick a lavalier microphone in there first, otherwise it's completely ineffective. And then we're gonna take this adhesive and stick it on top. And because it holds so well in your hand, you can very easily stick it on there. Now look at this little tail right here. You can easily grab and remove it. It's probably one of the easiest tapes that uh, I've ever run into, one of the adhesives for sticking on there. Now, if I wanna stick this to my hand, it's gonna hold extremely well. Look at that. I barely stuck it on there at all. And this thing is all over the place. It's pulling my skin like a hound dog's neck. I don't like that analogy, but it holds true. It's extremely effective. I mean, it's not coming off anywhere. You can see this, it's all over the place. Now, if I were to wanna remove this, it's not gonna tear my skin or anything like that. It's very, very effective that way. And then you can remove it from the mount fairly easily and then it's ready to be discarded nicely like that and now one of the things that's really cool about that is if you know some adhesives will really stick to your skin it'll when you start to ball it up and throw it away it's going to really stick now you notice that i balled it up and then threw it away and it went i didn't have to worry about like oh man what is this i have to wipe it on something or use a napkin or a paper towel or something like that it came off when it was supposed to and it stuck on when it was supposed to very effective. Now, these are the Viviana pads. Now, these pads are made of foam and they kind of feel like a makeup sponge just a little bit to the touch, but the adhesive is the same kind of adhesive as we've seen in the past with other Viviana products and it's extremely effective. Now, I'm gonna push these to the side and just show you the white ones here for a second. If we were to take off this adhesive, you see how easily it comes off there? It really does. And then I want to stick this onto something like a COS 11. And then if I put this on my skin very gently, I just barely attached it. It's now staying on there very well. Now I could stick this onto a shirt on the underside of a shirt on, in, on the sweet spot of someone's chest. And this is going to stay on there very effective. It's not going to come off at all. Now, one of the other cool things is that if you were to take this and, and normally you would want to um, actually, you know, discard this whenever you put this on something else, but I'm going to show how you can actually layer this thing up and make like a little, little foam sandwich here. If you were to do that now, again, the reason why this is probably not going to stick nearly as effectively is because I already have this on my, on my skin, but this right now is ready for you to stick on the inside of a shirt. And because of the design, it's going to 
basically prevent the material from making much noise at all. It's very effective in that regard. Now, the disadvantage of using a foam sandwich like this is that it's kind of sticking up quite a bit. So it may be a little bit more difficult for you to hide if it's in the sweet spot of someone's chest right here. So you might want to add a little piece of top stick or something like that just to keep it down. But if you notice, it's in there and it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's, it's very well in there. But if I want it removed, I could just very easily pull it off of there and the whole thing will disassemble very quickly and easily. So that way I can pull my lavalier microphone out there and discard this part here. Now, one of the cool things is also, not only is it its own accessory, it can be used with other accessories. Like for example, an ARM 11. If I had a COS 11 inside of an ARM 11 here, I'm gonna stick it through there just like this. And you can actually stick it. This is one thing that people always forget is you can stick it in either way. You can actually stick it in this way if you want one particular sound, or you can stick it in the other way on the RM11. And it's a completely different sound right there too. It makes a little bit more added presence actually. Now, if you were to want to put this not on the bottom there, but you stick it on the top. So that way, if you were to stick this on someone, that's a little bit of the, the previous pad. But if you wanted to put this on top to help lower the friction a little bit, you have that option because this is effective like that. Now, you could also roll it around a COS 11 by itself without the ARM 11 in there. So that way, if you wanted to stick it inside of a tie rig, for example, you could very easily do that by taking, taking this and rolling it around and making a little bitty kind of a, um, like a hush lob type thing. So it works that way too. They do sell bigger pads if you'd like to cut it down to a particular size for a, pro for a project you're working on, let's say. And uh, one of the other cool things is that you can use the pad completely by itself, or you can even wrap it around something like an antenna on a transmitter if you want to try to isolate it from the skin a little bit better. So there's a whole bunch of different things you can do with them. And because it has medical tape on the back, basically it's a medical tape adhesive on the back, it's not going to it's not going to irritate your skin at all. It's going to hold very well when it needs to. It's going to release when it needs to. So it's extremely effective and I like it. As silly as it might sound to say this, Viviana tape is the same as the foam, except without the foam. These little strips of adhesive are basically that. They're adhesive on both sides and it's very low profile. So you can put a lob on one side and then you can stick the clothing or the skin or whatever on the other side. And it's extremely low profile and it holds very well. I'm gonna start by cutting a piece of Viviana tape in half because I don't need the whole thing. And then I'm going to peel off because of this little tab over here the back of the Viviana tape and allow it to reveal a sticky side. Now, I would think about putting the lava right in the middle, but I'm actually gonna put it about a quarter of the way over. And the reason why is because I can then fold over the Viviana tape upon itself. So that way it's kind of halved and the lavalier is actually centered now. And then when you remove off the tape backing, it's ready for you to put onto skin or clothing or sandwich between the two. And because the Viviana tape holds without discretion, it does a great job doing that, by the way. Then I can actually put it like, even if I sandwich my hands together, it's really funny, but you know, you can see how it's holding very well. Even when I pull really hard, then you can start to see it kind of break a little bit, but even then it's actually really well done. So I like the Viviana tape a lot, actually. Viviana skin tape is also hypoallergenic. It's basically a mole skin for either skin or clothing use. It's non-medicated, obviously, and it's great for low profile applications. And it does stretch a little bit. Coming in black, white, and beige, it allows you to have a good base layer if you're gonna use it for a pad or something like that up on top of it, like the Viviana foams that we saw earlier. Now, those pads are a little bit thicker than this, and this is extremely soft. And if you wanted to use it, you could very easily, like what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna start by cutting it in half and it does tear nicely. And then if you want to, you can pull it apart so that way you can use this to build something. Now the skin itself, if you wanted to take a lavalier microphone and just stick it straight on your skin like you would old school, you do have that option and it will hold very nicely. So just like that. Now you could also layer it up with another, like a moleskin sandwich if you'd like to, or you could do basically whatever you'd like to, but this here has an adhesive layer on the bottom and it has a very smooth surface on the top. So it would 
go underneath clothing and stick very well. As a matter of fact, it's very well now that I look at it. I'd pull the head off of this microphone before I'd actually pull it off of my skin. And then when you're done, it pulls off nice and easy and tidy, and you can just discard it to the side. That is the Viviana Skin Tape. There are links to all the products showcased in this video in the description down below. Be sure to check them out. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Soundsbees. Be sure to tune in the future for more products that you need to know about from manufacturers that constantly innovate. And as always, sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.